So last time we looked at the best decisions Lego made in 2024, and in this video we're going to be looking at the worst decisions made by Lego. So let's get straight into it. So the first thing, I'm not sure if this should be a good or a bad decision, but they decided to bring back the big fix. Now, we actually don't know how this is going to perform since it's not out yet, but the original big figs were not the most popular, and, well, I guess LEGO Minecraft is trying to see if it will work again, but this might end up being a bad decision if it ends up wasting the money or something, so we really don't know which way this will go, either they will gain some popularity or no one will really care for them. We're not sure at the moment, but once this releases, We'll find out, and if there's more big fig sets released, then obviously it went well. If no more come out of it, then obviously it didn't do as well as they would have wanted it to. So we're just going to have to wait and see with this one, and see if the big figs will really take off, or if they're just a test, and if it doesn't work, then no more big figs for us. The second thing I'd say is highly pricing their sets. Now, for this wave, we have had some really good sets, but some quite highly priced sets. With not that many pieces, sets over £50 in other themes that would have a much lower price tag. Now, you could take this two ways. Either you could say because it's Minecraft, there's licensing, exclusive pieces and things like that. Or you could say that LEGO is just ripping us off since there's not much else to choose from in this LEGO Minecraft way and there's not many other Minecraft toys to choose from so they're taking advantage of their market share and making it as expensive as possible. Some sets that I would really like to get are just really expensive and I don't really think are worth the massive price tag that they have. Now this could also affect their sales as well since many other people might also agree with me and decide not to buy some different Lego Minecraft sets that they would really want more sales on. So we're going to really have to see how this pricing goes, if they keep it at this high pricing, if it just gets higher due to inflation, or if we will actually have some lower prices next year. Although we have had a few lower prices this year in sets such as the Armoury with a lot of exclusive pieces, so I think it's just because they are slightly larger sets, so they can take advantage of the fact that people will want those larger sets and price them at a much higher price. And my final thing would probably be not making more sets that connect. Now in this wave, or the waves of this year, we have had two sets, the Nether at Portal Ambush and the Armoury, which both connect together. And... That is really cool, and to be honest, one of the things that they really missed out on here is making it so more sets co connect together, or that all of the sets connect as far as they can. Obviously there are some different dimensions that probably couldn't, but they could figure out a way to do it. Bringing back that classic LEGO Minecraft thing of every set you buy can connect with another set. They used to have that with every other wave when LEGO Minecraft started, and then it slowly faded away. Now they've kind of brought it back with these two sets, but I feel like it would have been a great decision if they decided to do it with every set. It would have made this wave a lot more purposeful, because you would want to buy the other sets once you bought the first, because you wanted to make the whole world that was pre-designed for you, and then that would also increase sales, since it gives people a reason to buy the other sets once buying one of their first ones. So this would benefit us, and also LEGO financially, Maybe not our wallets, but theirs will definitely be benefit benefited. But yes, that would be a great idea, and it's a very big missed opportunity there. Although, at least they did do it with one or two sets. I really do think they should bring this back, though, since it was an amazing thing and inspired a lot more creativity in LEGO Minecraft. So those were the worst decisions made by LEGO in this 2024 sets. I really hope you enjoyed this video. You can subscribe up there. There is another video down there. Really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all next time. Bye.